Hello, my name is Dr Simon Foster. I work at Imperial College London and Imperial College is one of the partners on the UK National Quantum Technologies Programme. The UK National Quantum Technologies Programme is a £270 million investment by the UK Government that aims to take quantum technologies from the lab out into the real world, so into your pocket, into your homes, into your hospitals. Now, there are already some that you may have come into contact with, such as lasers. Now, that is a quantum technology, and flash drives are as well. But we're going to move, take a huge leap, oh, I hate to say it, a quantum leap, into the next generation of these technologies. So we're going to start looking at quantum metrology, and that's using quantum technologies for really detailed measurements. In healthcare, there could be huge advances in scanners. You've probably heard of quantum computing. That's quite uh, interesting. A lot of people talk about that. But quantum encryption is really important for keeping people's data safe. So there are these huge technological advances that we're at the forefront of. The program's funded by EPSRC, and it brings together all the different centers of excellence around the country working in quantum technologies. And it's hoped by working together, we can make our research a lot stronger and have a greater impact. So instead of being hubs on our own working away, through collaboration, we can make these te technological advances happen sooner and better and so by doing this, we're aiming that the UK becomes one of the, the central hub in the world for quantum technologies. The Quantum City programme is the public engagement arm of the UK NQTP. And it's hoped that by going around lots of different science festivals and schools, that we can engage with the general public and school children so they understand what quantum technologies are, how they're going to impact upon their life, and hopefully how they could actually become the quantum physicists, the quantum engineers of the future.